I know it's a bit dramatic here, <laughs> but uh, it felt appropriate because right now everything that's happening in the world around us is having such an effect on the future, on all of us, that it is really about are we going to lay down and let it happen or are we going to stand our ground. It's about being awake and aware and I always love that expression because it's the combination that makes the cake so sweet. Being awake, knowing what is going on, without integrating it, like letting it pass through all the barriers, makes it still something outside you. When you allow it to come through all your bodies, sense it, feel it, be emotional about it, grieve about it, be happy about it, be excited, be disappointed, be disillusioned, all of that needs to happen as well to be able to integrate and then pass through you back to the space where it came from. And being aware is so much this alignment, this being centered, that being connected to the earth and the heavens. That's the real, let's say, source of energy that you can connect with. Without that, you're not alive. And that's exactly what being more awake, which is like, indeed, there we go again. <laughs> Your surroundings and how you are able to center within, knowing everything that's going on. Or maybe not everything. And that's the funny thing, if you know it about one subject that really appeals to you and you go into detail and say, what happened? I mean, can I be part of a community or a board or whatever? Or um, can I participate in something? Then I want to know where this organization or aspect of life or whatever is about. And when you then dive deep into the details. You don't have to know everything else because it is mirrored in all aspects of life. In all aspects of society right now you will recognize the same patterns, the same systems, the same matrix, it's all there. So when you have insight in how that works, when you are allowing yourself to be awake on that aspect that really moves you, you will know that it re is represented in other aspects as well. And being aware is then knowing that your inner light can connect with the subject that you are attracted to. Being aware of your... It's a difficulty with the languages, you know, when I can say, I can say spirit, but it's not Spirit doesn't mean the same in Dutch, it doesn't mean the same in German, it doesn't mean the same in another language. So it's a bit confusing. But being aware to me is being knowing, accepting that you're timeless. That you really have value as you are an inspired being, taking part in the shift that we're going through. So to me, being awake and aware is the best ever, but also a very, very actual challenge. I'm standing with you.